Man, it was just a day of dinos. My name is Burp and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. It's kind of the, it's the middle of the week right now. It's hump day, it's Wednesday. I'm not normally over here in Louisville on this side of town. This, uh, at this time of the week. <laughs> but I thought I'd pop in here and see what kind of goodies they got at old thrifty pants so i'm just gonna hit up a couple of thrift stores i'm not gonna do all five like i normally do on my five thrift store friday i'm gonna hit up the goodie wheel hit up thrift giant here and see if we can find something cool so we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today hey check out these uh nano player baseball games we got baseball and it looks like we might have soccer those are kind of cool i don't know how much they want for them though all right well what do we got here overtake die cast cars man the shelves are super bare there's nothing here it looks like we've got a hard hard <laughs> a han solo card game that's kind of cool what's this thing some sort of transformer, I guess, huh? I wonder if he's all there. Hey, we've got a vintage 1980s, definitely dinosaur here. That is super cool. All right, so we're gonna pick him up for sure. Look out, it's dinosaurs! We've got play school dinosaurs. They're big and strong and tough. Spines and teeth and tails. Jaws and horns and sails. We can play with now Play School's got seven new, realer, scarier dinosaurs. And new cavesters, too. Play School's definitely dinosaurs. Each comes with a dinosaur book. Play School dinosaurs are big and strong and tough. We can play with them real rough. Ah, scared you, didn't I? And then it looks like we might have some more vintage 80s dinosaurs here. Is there a date on these things? Oh, yeah, check this dude out. Hmm, he's pretty neat. I haven't actually seen a Stegosaurus that's hard plastic like this, not one like this. That's like, I think this is vintage, man. All right, we've got quite a few dinos going on here today. All right, well, unfortunately, he's missing this tailpiece right here. So we're gonna put him back on the shelf, but Man, that would have been a cool find right there, man. This is Megatron. I'm sure most of you guys knew that. I did not know that until I looked him up. But uh, yeah, what a bummer. Oh, here's another one. And they're kind of expensive though. They're $5.99 each. And I'm pretty sure these are all vintage. Hey, check this out. It's like somebody dumped their dinosaur collection here. That's pretty cool. All right, y'all. I got my haul. Let's head to the car. It's not that far. It's time for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. Man, this was a vintage 1980s dinosaur haul. Woo! <laughs> yeah. A little jazzed up over this. I love dinosaurs. And uh, man, these things are going to display really nice once I get my bunker cleaned up and get all the stuff that I don't really collect out of there and keep it all like vintage 80s. That's kind of my goal. So, of course, you know, I'll keep some modern stuff, but I want to keep it primarily 80s in the bunker. All right, let me show you what I got. All right, first up, I got this Dorme 1980s Triceratops. That's the name of the company that actually made this figure. So I've got a couple of these Triceratops. We'll take a look at the other one here in just a second. But man, there's just something about these 1980s designs that I find very appealing. I guess it's just nostalgic for me is what it is. Most people would be like, dude, I'd rather have a Jurassic Park or a Jurassic World. But those figures are cool. Don't get me wrong. But uh, man, there's just something extra special about these guys. Well, that was the Triceratops. I thought I had two of these, <laughs> two Triceratops. I don't. This guy is something else. I don't know what this guy is called, but look at these spikes, man. Jeez. 
This guy is uh, death on wheels. <laughs> death on all fours. But yeah, he's got this green and red tintish color to him. I think he's really cool. This side is like pretty much all green and then this one's got like some red in it. I don't know if maybe the green wore up, maybe he was red underneath and they painted him green to give him a different look because they used the same mold as the Triceratops. Just gave him a little different head, but uh, I don't know. But anyway, he's super cool. And then we got this Stegosaurus. How cool is this, man? He's got some battle damage here. Looks like a T-Rex might have sunk his teeth into him while they were doing battle. He's got these sharp spikes here on the end of his tail. These plates to protect his uh, protect his spine. Well, I guess that is kind of, he's like a, got an exoskeleton, huh? So that is like his spine. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this guy is awesome too. And then I also got probably my favorite one out of this batch. Um, check out... Check out his face. I think I like his face the most. He's got like these sharp teeth. Who knew that Brontosaurus had sharp carnivorous teeth? <laughs> so uh, yeah, man, I really like this guy a lot. It kind of reminds me of like, uh, I forget what movie it is. It's like an old like caveman movie from like the 60s or 70s. Maybe it's got Raquel Welsh in it or something, but there's like this claymation scene where this Brontosaurus, I think fights a T-Rex or something. Kind of reminds me of that that scene. So, uh, and then finally, last but not least, I picked up this 1987 Definitely Dinosaur. How cool is this guy? I've got a little collection of Definitely Dinosaur figures and dinosaurs, like the little cavemen and stuff that came with the line. Super cool. One of the things I don't have though with that line is I don't have the accessories. Like I think some of them came with like little seats and saddles and stuff that the cavemen could sit on them. But uh, yeah, he will go nicely with the rest of that collection. We got that vintage 80s jazz, man. That vintage 80s jazz. I got that vintage 80s jazz, man. That vintage 80s jazz. So yeah, I'm jazzed up over that. That is really awesome. Like, uh, especially this, this definitely dinosaur. I love this line of toys, super cool, very underrated. So, hey, up next, let's go hit up the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the Goody Wheel, baby. Oh yeah, what you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully your, sh your shelves are stocked up. The last few times I've been here, they've been bare. So hopefully you got some vintage toys for you, boy. Let's see what they got. Let's see, what do we got here? Look at this. We got more dinosaurs. These are the Jurassic World type. So we got him, we got a Stegosaurus. They want three bucks each for them. All right, well, since we're making it a dinosaur kind of day, we'll probably pick these guys up. jet but it's missing the canopy all right y'all <laughs> i got my dinosaur haul man it was just a day of dinos maybe that's what i'll call this video the day of dinos but yeah check these dudes out this guy actually makes noise which is cool he doesn't have a battery in him though at the moment well his battery doesn't work i gotta replace it but these two guys right here if I were to sell them together, they're worth about 25 to 30 bucks, and I got them for $4.34. Hell yeah! I think that is a pretty sweet score. Let's fix his back leg there. So this dude right here, the Stegosaurus, he actually, uh, he's got like this swivel tail for like battle. You know, you can hit the T-Rex and put his big spikes in him. So, and then this Triceratops, I push this little button here on his back and he should make some noise but yeah man the day of dinos hey if you're enjoying watching this content as much as i'm enjoying making it for you do me a favor smash that like button that really helps me out it helps my channel grow also if you're new to the channel excuse me i almost burped if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 600 videos that you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.